Magnetic compression anastomosis for treatment of biliary structure after cholestectomy. Post cholestectomy biliary structure can be treated endoscopic or percutaneous treatments. However, these conventional methods are not feasible if a guide wire cannot be passed through the stricture. Magnetic compression anastomosis could use for the treatment of biliary stricture. A 60-year-old female who had undergone laparoscopic cholecystectomy due to gallbladder stone one week ago presented with upper abdominal pain. Abdominal CT showed that the moderate amount of right periheptatic biloma collection. During ERCP, cholangiogram showed that there was bile leakage on the surgical clip. A fully covered self-expandable metallic stent was inserted to resolve bile leakage. An abdominal CT one week later showed that an increase in the amount of biloma in the periheptatic space and the surgical site. Percutaneous catheter drainage was performed to resolve biloma. Follow-up abdominal CT confirmed that the biloma was resolved. After percutaneous catheter's removal, MRCP was performed. In MRCP, there was an iotronic obstruction of the right intraheptatic duct on the surgical clit. Right intraheptic duct looked separated, and it was related with the underlying congenital variation of insertion of right intraheptic duct to the extraheptic duct. PTBD was inserted to processing magnetic compression anastomosis Cholangiogram showed that right anterior intraheptic duct completely separated from the common bile duct. During ERCP, the guide wire could not be passed to the right intraheptic duct. To resolve complete biliary obstruction, we decided to use the magnetic compression anastomosis technique. In ex vivo, we demonstrate step by step how to assemble and deploy magnets. We developed a rare earth magnet. The magnet is 4 mm in diameter and 8 mm in wide, with a hole drilled in the side opposite the alignment side. A silk string was connected by forming a hook through the hole. The silk string attached to the magnet was grasped with endoscopic snare. The magnet was delivered using endoscopic snare. One magnet was advanced through the PTBD track using endoscopic snare. The magnet was fixed right IHD using biliary balloon catheter. A retrieval fully covered, self-expandable metallic stent was inserted into the distal common bile duct. It facilitate the insertion of magnet across the papilla, and the other magnet was delivered through the metallic stent and common bile duct using endoscopic snare. A plain abdominal radiograph is obtained at two week intervals for six weeks after the approximation of magnets. After six weeks, the magnets were successfully approximated. This is the magnet removal process through the PTBD tract. The approximated magnet was removed through the PTBD tract using a grasping forceps. and the guide wire was able to pass the stricture site. The recanalized fistula was confirmed. 
Another magnet was removed via ERCP of the common bile duct using a grasping forceps. A fully covered self-expandable metallic stent was inserted at the recanalized site for maintaining the new fistula tract, and it was exchanged every three months for six months. After six months, the metallic stent was removed. Cholangiogram showed the complete resolution of biliary stricture. The patient is under outpatient follow-up visits without specific symptoms and recurrence. In conclusion, conventional methods have limitations to treat severe biliary stricture or complete biliary stricture. Magnetic compression anastomosis may be useful in treating the complete biliary stricture after cholestoctomy.